And then I found this cutest little hacksaw with the smallest teeth, and it actually does a pretty good job. So that's what I'll use to cut the appropriate sizes of the copper brake line. Bro, right when I want to do it, you... Here's what it looks like with my phone. This last one I did is probably as good as it's going to get. It is, I think you can see, just barely shifted over. And that'll be good. So this is Liquid Wrench. And it has lube in the name, so uh, can I use that to... You know, this is it by the way. And I actually rented the wrong size, but I'll make it work too much. Alright, anyway. So it's winter. So the brake line that I want to look at starts there. And it ends right at the uh, around there. You can see how it's so rusty. I'm just gonna loosen it or try. Why usually American size tools? Same thing too. How it's like. I'm gonna let that drain and then work on the other side while it drains. This wheel will not come off, no matter how hard you kick it. So I am up to using a wrench or a crowbar to try something and no leverage, nothing to grab onto. It's like two days later, I think. I think we have movement finally off. The main problem was the hub somehow was stuck around it. This one is off with no problem. I'm gonna try to move this one out the way. That was way harder than it needed to be, but I ended up spraying some liquid wrench and then I pushed it and pulled, pushed it and pulled, and then eventually it pulled out. All right, now I unbolt. Oops. I'm removing the lines from the clips, but I broke this one and I'm pretty sure a lot more are gonna break because it's just so old and tricky. That one didn't break. The ones that are pretty much wet don't break. It's pretty much out. The uh, There's the one side, there's a broken side. So I'm just trying to like, you know, bend it and work it out and now it's already should be enough to just there we go um i have no idea where this clip went you broke it So here we have the next brake line. I'm gonna first unclip it there, there, and back there. And then I'm gonna try to, uh, can you see, is there one in the middle? Yeah, there's one in the middle. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly gonna try to break it from that one. Okay, now that all the brake line to remove is removed, I am gonna Check which bolts will fit into the first brake line that I'm going to do. It is kind of feeling loose in there, but a bigger size is too big. All that is not good. It's the hardest part for me. 
I don't think it's as good as my last one, but I will keep it. Because I'm really tired of this. But anyway, the new thread is a bit bigger. Just barely. But I really don't want to use this old one. And I already, you know, put the new one on. But anyway, I was thinking like half a strip. I mean, I could pretty much start putting it in here. But then it should be able to squeeze behind that right there. Um, I'll put it through here. Try to. Try to put it kind of up there. And then I'm going to screw it in. Screw it in. Uh, feed some more. You know, straighten it out. Try to get it as close to the clips as I can. And then uh, let's see how it goes. I don't like that at all. Well, I'm gonna have to put on the old bolt. I put the brake line in. Pretty tough to get it into that clip. I got it into that clip. Coming around here, and there, and there, and there, and now I'm up to this part. Here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna cut it around here. But first I'm gonna test my bolt to see if it goes in there. And none of my bolts fit. So I'm gonna reuse the one that was here. So since I'm under the car and I don't want to take out the pipe to a flare this end, um, I have to sand it down. So I'm gonna use a drill with the, with the tip that was on the Dremel. I have a file to make it very close to a uh, flat right now and then uh, sandpaper for the outer edge. Oh uh, you can't really see. Well here's the front of the car. I got the uh, silly straw method because you know I have some extra wire and I'm definitely going to keep that extra. This is where I started putting in the, uh, the other tube and I uh, it's over the exhaust. Um, you can't see, you can't see. Well, anyway, it's uh, I just tightened it. And now I'm gonna try to get it into all the clips. Or almost. Okay, so everything is in. And quick note, I wanna say I put uh, this type of oil when I was doing the flaring. Uh, I feel like it helped a lot. And also, I put it in this tool um, before I tightened it. Uh, so it would spin a lot easier. The last one. Here's the front of the car. Both are in. A little curvy. Going under there. Down the line. Not perfectly straight, but that's alright. Uh, you can't really see, but one goes to the right. And one goes to the left goes up a little bit to that clip um, there was a clip up there but that's not happening anymore and into there so now I just have to put this rubber wire into that part and on the other side over the exhaust over these lines that clip uh, that clip going up there there might have been another clip up there but you know Now I'm gonna try to bleed the brakes. And it's starting to snow, so I really gotta hurry up. 